I've been keeping myself really busy the last few weeks doing a lot of different DIY projects that I've had in kind of on the back burner and I've finally been able to do them. This is an adorable little mason jar that I kind of distress painted a little bit. Can you tell? And I'm going to show you guys how I did this in today's video. Hello awesome equestrians, it's me Lisa, the budget equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want to make the most of the time that you have with your horse, click the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. So like I said in the beginning, I am going to show you guys how to make this. You don't have to use this paint color, it was just one that I thought I would like. Not too sure how I feel about it, but it was really simple to make and just took some fake flowers, which I tend to have a lot of. Just put them right in there. And then, it becomes a part of my little DIY, artsy, fartsy, equestrian area. So how about we go make it? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our mason jar that's clean and then we're really going to clean it by cleaning it all off with some rubbing alcohol. This will help the paint adhere better. And then once it's all clean and dried, it's time to paint. And I chose these two colors that I'm going to mix together to get the end result that you saw in the beginning of the video. And then I just painted the mason jar with the paint. And this paint is acrylic paint that I got at Walmart for 50 cents for one container. So a dollar for the two bottles of paint. And once the jar was all painted, I let it dry for 24 hours. That's really important. Make sure you allow it 24 hours to dry before you start sanding. Then you just get some sandpaper and just kind of rough sand it. The sandpaper I used was just a piece of disc sanding paper for my orbital sander because that's what I had. And it worked pretty well. But this is why it's important to wait at least 24 hours before you start sanding, otherwise it'll just peel the paint off, it won't sand it off. And what I forgot to show you is the step where I did a sealer. I used Mod Podge to seal it so the paint will be sealed onto the jar. And now I'm just going to add some decoration using some jute string and my glue gun. So I took a lot of the jute string and cut it. And then used my glue gun. And then I just started wrapping right under the rim where the threads are with the jute. You don't have to use the glue gun. I just like it because it makes sure that it's going to stay in place and where I want it to be.
and then I just secured the end and made a little bow as another little embellishment on my mason jar. And using my trusty glue gun again, I attached the bow to the mason jar. Then I wanted to add some flowers and I couldn't decide if I wanted to add a big bunch of flowers or two bunches of flowers. And in the end, I decided on just one bunch of flowers with no extra greenery, no stems, just the flowers themselves. And this is the finished product. So what did you think? That was pretty easy, wasn't it? It's cute, it's affordable, and it makes a nice little extra accent piece for if you're doing something like what I did with my equestrian related decor, or if you just like shabby chic, farmhouse style, whatever you like, you can make these adorable little mason jar planters, whatever you wanna call them, use them for pen holders. I don't know, lots of different uses, but they're really easy to make and they might even make a really fun gift idea. And if you want to learn more about my other DIY projects, product reviews, and how you can be a budget equestrian, start right now by clicking that little round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.